Welcome back, everybody, to 60 Minutes to Lose on the NES, the show where we see how far we can get through every single game ever created, ever, kind of, in just 60 minutes. Today, we have Desert Commander, developed by Chemco, published by Chemco Seika. I uh, did a real quick little uh, once-over on the manual here, so hopefully I won't be totally out of it here. Let me just check real quick, make sure my uh, voice is recording. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it is, it is. Okay, I had to make sure. We do have that issue occasionally, and I get uh, I get real paranoid with this opening call here. So this is, as far as I know, a turn-based strategy game. We will go versus the computer, of course, because we have no other player. I guess we'll do first battle, huh? Okay, now this is what I remember seeing here. We, we can, uh... I'll change out our lineup of who we have here. I think I'm, I'm just gonna start with the basic lineup first here to get my bearings. Sure. Just keep it simple. Alright, so, from what I can gather from the manual, this is basically Advanced Wars, <laughs> but ancient. Okay, I was gonna say, how much, how much map do we have here? Quite a bit. I don't think there's anybody down, though. Or, we to the right. Okay, they're all down here. So here's our enemy. We got, we got tanks, APCs... You know, all that kind of junk here, so... Alright, let's begin commanding units in the desert. No doubt you'll want to have the tanks take the front. Where... Oh, we've maxed out our advance. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, I was moving the entire time then. All right. Faster than I thought. That one went a little bit further because I took more of the road, presumably, here. Which means you. We'll have you kind of stay towards the back, our beautiful little field cannon here. Yeah. Just go... Just go straight down this highway here, and I'll hope that I'm not getting too, uh... Yeah, no, no, I got plenty of space between me and them, we're gonna be okay there. Now, our, our aerial units, these are gonna be interesting, I feel. We don't wanna get too close to their fighters with our bomber though because I believe I remember reading in the manual that uh, the fighters pretty much directly counter the bombers so we're, we're gonna bring our regular fighter here as kind of an escort yeah 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 there we go just like that just like that and actually I am going to just briefly on my other screen here I'm gonna pull up the unit list here it's in the manual so I am perfectly fine to uh, use this. It is not an external source of information here. Looks like we do have limited fuel and ammo, which is worth noting, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know what everything here is, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Uh, okay. This... Is this anti-aircraft right here? Yes, anti-aircraft gun. Perfect. So we're gonna bring them kind of out into the middle of the desert as well. What are you? Alright, that's our headquarters, which doesn't move a whole lot. That's fine, it can, it can just chill right there. Have the infantry do whatever, you know, I don't think it really matters. Roll out the other anti-aircraft. Good. This is the armored car. Not as intense as the tanks, but they should still be usable in a combat situation. I'm intrigued by this game so far. I am. It's certainly nothing that I've seen on the NES so far. 
Now, I, I do need to make sure that I don't have my artillery back here, or my field cannon, I guess it is, get totally flanked by the enemy. Say supply truck, sure is. Supplies ammo and fuel to other units. Okay, so we'll we'll keep one kind of over here by the front lines. Oh look, and he supplied the tank. Very nice. And then this other one will go down here. No supply accomplished there, but that's fine. And the transportation truck. All right, you you stash infantry in the transportation truck, and then it moves them around. Makes sense. And then this other field cannon. Let's see. Incidentally, they they don't appear to have the greatest range on the planet. Oh, they have very very poor movement on the desert. Unless by range that means movement, I'm not sure. Oh, look at them. They're going... They're just kind of punching right up the gut there. Oh, no. I'm nervous now. I thought they were going to meet me a little higher up there, but they have no plans to do that there. They're just kind of rushing immediately to the left. Okay. Well, this will make things interesting, if nothing else. Yeah, range must be referring to their movement range. Makes sense. They're forming a defensive perimeter over there. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice little supply cutscene there. Alright, it's their turn done and over with. So, this is their bomber here, I, be I believe, which means... Okay, we do just have adjacent attacks, so never mind. Go back. Move. Can we move and then attack? Shall we attack? Yeah, absolutely, attack. There we go. Ooh, look at that! We did a number on him. This is very much like Advance Wars then, actually. So, okay. The anti-air. We will move seven tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Narrowly there, but not enough. That's... That's pain right there. But you know, we gotta move them anyway. Get them in the palm tree there. Ooh, the oasis, I see. Very nice. Now, the field gun, or the field cannon. Let me check and see. Okay. Has a range of about uh, four tiles away in any direction there. Our fighters are likely coming in to destroy the field cannon, but I'll just have to accept that as being reality for now. <laughs> Bomber. This is what we do here. We get rid of the supply truck instantly. Check this out. Or is this the troop transport? I can't remember which. Either way. Ooh. Very good. We took no damage. They took quite a bit. All right. Now, these bombers are pretty much right for the picking. I don't know if it would be smart to try to finish it off with this or not, but you know, all, all I can do at this point is try it out, right? Missed a lot of shots there. There is one bomber left in that uh, in that grouping. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, there we go. Get ourselves back around. Attack from behind. There we go. And we've destroyed the bombers. 
Very nice. So we don't have to worry about those. They will still have their fighters over there trying to cause mayhem on me. I have no idea if the old cannon will be capable of... Oh, no, you can... Oh, okay, you can move and then attack adjacently, but you cannot move and then attack indirectly. Makes sense. That's fine, just, just slot in. Check this out here. We get right up and personal. This is probably a grave mistake. But, uh, no guts, no glory, you know? We did take quite a bit of damage. An unexpectedly large amount, I would say. You know what I bet they're probably doing? They're probably gonna just try to get straight for my headquarters. Straight to my headquarters, rather. My work is done. Beautiful. And imagine they only have a limited amount of that to select anything. Not really. How about start? Okay, that's a bad. Good, good, good. Not like I need it, but, uh, you know. Yeah, I. I'm not going to expect a huge amount of success in this first mission out here. This is really just to kind of get my bearings and see what the game plays like. And when I said it's Advanced Wars, I was right on the money. <laughs> What's Oh, okay, that tells me... That tells me all about its information, okay. Well, change... What does change do? No, don't stop the operations. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, let's... Let's move our headquarters back. It seems like a foolish... errand to try and... push it upwards like that. The troop transport is doing effectively nothing. You don't have, like... You don't even have any attack, do you? They... Do have ammo, so the transport the transportation truck must have some basic self-defense. Okay, all operations completed. I feel like uh, very sloppy, more than likely. Taking down our supply trucks, you know. Whatever. We did take one plane with us. <laughs> Good job. And the field gun. Ooh. That was lucky. They landed only one hit on the field gun. That's outrageously good. <laughs> I don't know what that supply truck was doing. That's not so lucky. Ooh. Yeesh. Our tank has been laid to waste. Wow. Look at that. I figured it was probably a dumb idea to charge it in there, but... You know, sometimes you have to, uh... You have to see it to believe it. <laughs> oh, yay. Neat game, though, I would say. Okay, so... Our anti-aircraft are placed incredibly well to do some major damage to their fighters. Look at that. Completely erased from existence. And so we'll see it again with this one. Eliminate it. Oh, okay, not a, not a perfect sweep, but we also avoided any kind of damage, which is sweet. Now, my question is, will the field cannon be at all effective? <laughs> I 
Dude, it, it was! It took it out! We, we just shot down the rest of that squadron of fighters with a piece of artillery. I'm impressed. So you should be able to, uh... Res resupply both of these, right? Yeah, look at that! That's optimization for you. Yes, attack. Get rid of these supply trucks. Ouch! I'm taking a lot of flack from these supply trucks here. It feels silly, but, you know, it's the reality of the situation. I guess the game really is a full-blown, everything-can-kill-you kind of game. There we go, good. That one's down, at least. Don't have a ton of ammo on the bomber, but you know, we're gonna use everything we got. Nice. Nice. Alright, the fighters will come through and finish off this supply truck, or at least have visions of finishing off the supply truck. It was not so. They took one hit, and the supply truck remains standing. Incredible. So yeah, now, now that I see that everything can just kind of destroy anything in one hit, <laughs> I'm like, why wouldn't you just rush all of your units out, right? Like, I'm sure that there are some noted differences. So, uh, you know, get the infantry out there. <laughs> yes, unload our infantry right there. Send them to hell. Eesh. I'm not lucking out with these hits. Like, I was the aggressor there, but I... I ate it way more than they did. And you know, our headquarters will just uh, stick back here, I guess. Just chill. <laughs> Supply up for whatever reason. And now we see how bad the damage is. Don't know if I would really recommend directly attacking with the field cannon, but, you know, it's a choice. This is a pretty good soundtrack. I gotta say, this is a high quality song a Rooney here. Okay, they're bringing in they're bringing in the reserves. bomb the shit out of this other tank. Good, thank you. I was real worried you would miss that one in the corner, but not the case. We will use you to get this last supply truck. There we go. Just get it off the field. always bothers me when I've got little, uh, you know, just scraps of units left. 
who are tenaciously holding on for dear life, and I'm like, dude, just, just die. I just want to get you out of here. So, let's see. Is this anti-aircraft? I can't check it. It's, it's not allowing me to look. Okay, B, I guess, just progresses me to the next unit. There. Um, so yeah, let's get rid of whatever this thing is here. Or at least try! Man! I'm dealing with one beefy military here. No, I want to keep moving. Ah, dang it, I had to stop moving there. Okay, well, we've learned that that's the case now. Learned that if it asks you if you want to attack, you should probably just attack. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh. So yes, I am guessing that rather than the game showing you, like, damage, rather different unit types have higher chances to hit other units. That's what I want to guess is going on here. Yeah. Fight this thing. Oh, it's just anti-air versus anti-air, you know? And we didn't take a hit. Excellent. Ah, maxed out. Right at the last minute. I would love to be able to attack you as well, but you know, makes sense. Advanced Wars was the same way. You got your indirect artillery units, and they, uh. They can't move and fire at the same time. I need to pick up Advanced Wars again. I, I had a copy long, long ago as a kid. Lost it in Montana, but genuinely one of the greatest games on the Game Boy Advance. Our infantry got him! Look at that! <laughs> Way to go, boys! So this is this is a rock solid game. I was a little worried when I saw that this was the one I would play that uh, it was going to be a little overcomplicated, but that's not the case at all. It's uh, it's remarkably easy to understand and play. Oh, I guess we just have our HQ way up here, left completely undefended. It's fine. We'll just... Nothing. There we go. Just resupply. Keep resupplying all day. But no, I think I'm... Like, okay, I'm a big uh, Fire Emblem fan, but I think I might actually like Advanced Wars even more than I like Fire Emblem. Yeah, part of that might be nostalgia, that's true, but it's just a really good game. <laughs> Our tank is technically still alive, and technically alive is the best kind of alive. They came out worse than I did, so I can't complain. I think I'm- I think I'm gonna be okay. I think we're gonna come out ahead in this, uh, in this little skirmish. So, obviously. Little indirect fire. They're narrowly alive. Ah, that's right, I have to attack them, because I passed them. I was gonna try to blow right past them and, uh, go straight to that, uh, that troop transport behind, but, you know, I'll have to do it with this one. And then I wanted my supply truck to finish him off, <laughs> you know, just for some high-concept comedy. Ooh, baby! We didn't do a lot of damage to them, but we're we're in one piece, so. Take out the tank, please. I'm willing to bet it's probably the biggest threat. 
You didn't take it out, but you did a fair amount of damage and took a fair amount of damage. Good lord. This field gun has been effectively useless the entire game, but, you know, we'll just, we'll just move it up. Do what we can. Help take this thing out, please. Hey, nice. All four of you managed to land a hit, so that's promotions all around. Yeah, no, this game is really, really cool, actually. I am approving very, very much of what I'm playing here. Let's see. Let's try to decide what I want to do now. It's a nice break from the typical NES fare, you know? Like, it's something that feels genuinely different. I'm always a big fan of that. Attack. Well, yeah, we're toast there. <laughs> All I can do is hope now, just... Get on my knees and pray I won't get fooled again. I didn't want to move, but yeah, that's fine. We can just do that the roundabout way. Our fighter is tenacious. No doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> we have one tank here. You know, may as well just see if we can land a single hit. Oh no, we didn't even attack. That's bad. <laughs> okay, well, the, the transportation truck can... Uh, Try to deal more damage to the infantry. That is more damage. Congratulations. You have done the bare minimum that I've asked of you. And not move through friendly units. I'm not sure which is more damaged. I think this. Yeah, lots of misses because we are a mere supply truck. All we got left is our infantry. What? Hmm. I do wish that I could check the enemy's health. That would be a big, big help. But check this out. It said that infantry are very effective in taking headquarters. Yeah, they are actually. They did five damage to it and didn't take any kind of return fire, so... I accept that as being heavily pogged. Now, I'm uncertain if, like, your headquarters has to survive or if it's just another unit, but I'm pretty sure it probably has to survive. We'll bring ours closer to the fray anyway. Dude, they're not doing anything! <laughs> okay, they're, they're field cannons trying to mop up my inventory, my infantry. But for the most part, they're just kind of... Yeah. They're scared, man. We've got them running. Feel the wrath of two armored cars. Well, we got wiped out, but... <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta try it. Feel the wrath of three supply trucks. No! Oh! <laughs> this is the part of the game where all of the ultra-weak units fight each other in a battle of who can be the most useless. However, this will not be useless right here. Yeah! Finally, that armored car is out of my hair. <laughs> Why is... Our tank's still alive. Pepper their infantry, please. Beautiful. It's all I ever wanted. the fury of that unit. 
Oh no, our ammo is gone! Okay, well, okay, that's fine. There is a solution. Just, uh... I have to formulate it in my head. First off, uh, we take out the troop transport, which has nothing to do with our ammo problem. We need to get our supply truck over to our bomber. <laughs> but first off, do this very ill-advised attack. Actually! Taking two of them out was not that bad. I don't care if I lose the troop transport, it has lost all of its effective utility for me here. Now... One last showdown with our tank. You- Man! <laughs> I called my fighters tenacious, my tank just will not die. Do a little supply work here. And now that we have ammo again- oh no, I guess we don't have ammo. Okay, well, our bomber is a brick. A big flying brick. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Dude, look at that, headquarters gone. We win! Okay, so that answers that question. Destroying the headquarters is enough. <laughs> you get the cutscenes and everything. Man, they put a lot of love into this. They really did. 6 damage, 4 results, 13. I don't know what that means. But it's a great victory, they tell me. Thank you. Yeah, do raise the computer again. Yeah, you know, you only have five levels, so that's that's admittedly not a ton. This is what they recommend. Okay, now hold on. What what is the exact purpose of the tank here? Effective for attacking all types of ground units. I doubt it. Let's just uh let's see. They have a lot of air units, so I'm gonna take one tank out and add another anti air. The computer does fight you with a unit advantage, to be sure. Okay, what's this map looking like here? To say the least, it's similar. Where is our enemy? Right there, okay. In this corner. Very well. Oh, and then they have kind of a vanguard right up there. Okay, well, you know. First things first, just uh, start pushing forward, I guess. Send the planes way up there, overextend, and then regret it. I am going to definitely regret that, I feel, but, uh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just have to make sure to get the tanks up there. Send them on the road so they can get up next to our boys. And if we botch this, it's fine. It's all about exploring, you know? Armored cars have a pretty good amount of movement, so they'll be able to join the fray without a problem. Every time the music holds that note, I'm, I'm worried that it's gonna, like, crash. <laughs> boom, boom. And then it starts up again, and I'm like, oh. don't have the greatest movement range, as demonstrated there. But it's fine. 
I do wish that the supply trucks actually supplied you with ammo as well. That would be very helpful. But, you know. Load the troops up. And roll out. unload right here. This is probably ill-advised, but hey, I'm not the master the master tactician here. The game assumes I am because I am the player. And you know what? Fair assumption. Okay, we've kind of defensive brick there, and you know what? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be real dumb and bring the headquarters forward. Absolutely. They're trying to get back around, though, as you can see. Okay. I would call this, uh, scumbag behavior? Wow. They did a number to my bombers. With their bomber, too. They didn't even, like, counter it with a fighter. They were just like, You wanna fight? And I, uh... I heavily regret all of my tactical decisions up to this point now. <laughs> like, maybe just playing the turtle game is better. Maybe you just, like, build a defensive perimeter around your headquarters and then just, uh, survive the onslaught. We'll see how this goes, though. It's not gonna go well. But... <laughs> Okay, you can go over the water. I, I I wasn't actually sure because I didn't see a grid over it. Wow, rip my infantry. Taking the fight directly to my anti-aircraft guns. That's that's ballsy, you know? You gotta respect it in a way. And then everybody else is staying back. Okay. Well, I've got my work cut out for me. And I'm probably gonna fail. <laughs> Dramatically. But, uh, not that big of a deal. We did successfully finish one scenario, so... Myself in the Hall of Fame for that, at the very least. Field cannon will finish off the fighter. Told ya. Easy peasy. Hold on now. that other fighter back there, so I just have to accept that this is, this is my fate. Dude, almost incredible. Almost down to the entire thing. But you know what? Now the infantry destroys the bomber, and they, uh, and they feel very silly about themselves. I didn't mean to do that at all. Well, n never mind. The troop transport will finish the bomber off. <laughs> I was greeted with the option to load up the troops, and I was like, sure, didn't mean to, but sure. Alright, well... Everything I have over here sucks. <laughs> so I guess we'll do this. Doing so hot, man. Getting our getting our keister handed to us. Yeah, that's right. I'm using words like keister now. I'm just uh, trying to get that old man drip. Well, let's try to uh, 
to play the old counter game, it, it worked! We got all five hits that we could have possibly gotten off off on them, so that's... that's good. And now our bomber is in a sad state of affairs here, but we can still try to do some damage with it. Not impressive. Not at all impressive. You want to see something really stupid? <laughs> that worked about as well as I thought it would. Which is to say, it was calculated. Well... No. I guess we'll try to finish off the bomber with this tank. Oh, and it worked, barely. By the skin of my teeth. How, how about you, armored car? How will you do against this fighter? Not half bad, actually. That was okay. Nearly okay, so don't go getting a big head about it, but, uh, you know? I've not been impressed with the, uh, the impact that my tanks have left on the battlefield, I gotta say. They've been, they've been kind of mid this entire time. So naturally, we'll use the troop transport to try to finish off the fighters. You got halfway there, but at least you didn't take any damage, so good job. I guess. Sorry for the insane creaking of my, uh, <laughs> this is a really bad idea here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The insane creaking of my chair, I, I, I did put a noise gate on my microphone finally to hopefully mitigate that, but, uh, I know it does get fairly loud sometimes. Definitely needs some WD-40 or something of a similar nature. Yeah? Guess what? I took down one of your planes, and you took down, like, 800 men. I killed 30 men. Once again, I'm not impressed by the tanks. That platoon did a good job, though. Good job. You're all fighting for the rays here, and you've got it. Oh, airfields! That's a thing? Does it, like, replenish your health and everything, too? Because if so, that seems horrifying. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm very concerned now. To bring in more units forth as they should. We got two. Uh, you know? Something? Inject that copium directly into my veins. Yeah, this is not this is not going to spec here. healthy anti-air unit versus a damaged bomber squadron. You didn't kill all of them, so uh, go directly to hell. Do not collect 200. Try as you may, you were not effective, my dear armored cars, but boy, it's the thought that counts.
Yeah, let's just, you know, go for it. That was effective. That was very effective. Well, as effective as you can be while having a squadron of four bombers, which, you know, that's a, that's a lot of caveats on that statement there, but... I do what I must. I forgot that, that was only a one tank squadron, so that was that was a little overkill. Rather have overkill than underkill. Ay. What are we gonna do about all you up here? Yeah, unload our troops. Why not? Ooh, hoo -hoo. Could it be that I have chosen a good position for them to be in? Could it be that they should just stay here? Yeah, attack the ground next to you. You know what? We'll just we'll just let you stay right there because there's only like three of you. No, no, no! Do not load up. Yeah, just just stay there. Exactly. You've got it. I'm giving you very easy directions. I do not guarantee your success, but I give you the directions nonetheless. Now, you, we have two options here. We can go down to meet this dude who just resupplied. He doesn't have a lot of backup. Maybe we should try that. We'll see if that, uh, well yeah, because we only got three units here anyway. So we're going to use who as the sacrificial lamb to see if that resupplied their squadron. I think it did a little bit. I can't remember if it was at 7 before or not. Well, highly, highly ineffective attack. I weep. <sighs> ah! What was that? You get the jump on them and you come out taking more damage. I, I, it's, it's not the first time it's happened, so I can't pretend to be super shocked or anything, but I can still be bummed about it, right? Like, that's, ah, a miserable paltry display. Oh yeah, shred up the infantry, boys. That wasn't as effective as I hoped. Well, you know, it's Desert Commander. <laughs> yeah, we'll just brainlessly attack their tanks with my supply trucks. That was about uh, how I expected that to go. <laughs> yes. Dude, can I just like attack their fighters with my headquarters? Is this a good idea? I've seen worse! Yeah, now our headquarters is damaged, but I... You know? Alright. You one lone troop. Oh, he didn't attack. My bad. <laughs> All I can do is just... Sit back and smell the napalm, you know? The supply truck has resupplied, the irony. Their planes are resupplying at my own airfield. I guess I didn't put my name on it, so... Of all the luck. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, highly effective maneuvering from the bomber there. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of threw this entire match away, but it's all right. We'll we'll see it to completion through thick or thin, no matter how badly I fail. Oh my God! Ah, oh, jeez! The artillery from point blank laying absolute waste to my tank regiment. Nasty stuff, man. Yeah, uh, definitely picks up after that first training map.
That's for certain. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. At least we'll try to finish this bomber off. Try to accomplish something here. Thank you. I was gonna say, if you don't get him, I'm gonna be irate. Can you attack him from this range? Ah, oh, one square out of range. That's a disaster. You still have some ammo left, right? Yeah, yeah. You have you you have one attack left, so. Uh... It's not going my way. <laughs> Can confirm. Luck is definitely not a lady. I forgot we can uh, directly attack with field cannon right there. Pretty effective. Cannot lie. Let's try to finally knock these last two tanks off. There we go. It was not too much to ask. It was a tall order, yeah, but uh, not not impossible. Now let's just watch the memes. They almost did it! <laughs> in, in all fairness, the little troop transport that could made an attempt. How about the supply truck now? Can you can you finish it off? Beautiful. You know, again, um, I don't I don't feel like this is a, a winning situation on this map on an, you know, an overarching sense here, but we can try to get as many small victories as we can out of it, you know? That is not a victory at all. Eesh. Yeesh. All right, well, you know how we do it. The offensive headquarters. And then the incredibly brave single soldier who is just bound and determined to shoot himself down a plane. Oh, and he did it! Before he died, he accomplished his goal. His final letter to home will be fulfilled. He'll, he'll have good news for all of them at the Western Front. And now the troop transport's time has come. Oh, he did it! <laughs> Incredible. Okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to necessarily say that everything is coming up me. We're still in a pretty nasty position. Overall, you continue just holding that position, my, my dude. Stay fortified. But at least we've cleared out most of the threats on this side of the board. Now we just have all this to worry about. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All of our tanks are gone. Actually, I might still have like one unit left of like two. <laughs> yeah, there is one unit left. Uh. Oh. They attacked our fortified troops and, uh, <laughs> have the upper hand. <laughs> At least we tried. <coughs> They're pulling from their reserves back there. Don't have any infantry left either, really, so, uh, I mean, I have one guy, so if I have to take their headquarters, it's gonna be a difficult task. That said, just uh, brain death upon their infantry. 
Probably violating the Geneva Convention in some way here, but... Hey, that's war, man. This is still a full stack here? Baby. Nice! I didn't realize that that was an untouched anti-air unit. I don't know how they have managed to survive without taking a scratch this far in, but... Who am I to complain? So, let's see. You need to get to an airstrip. Very good. We've already operated on this unit, so yeah, I just, I just wanted to look at its stats, but that's, that's too much to ask. Wait, hold on, what are the unit totals? Let me look at that again. It's seven to nine. We are fighting from behind, but it's not an impossible situation. Supply truck? <laughs> Prove your mettle. And they did! And they did. That, that's closing the gap a little bit more. We're gonna run out of time before we can finish this map anyway, but hey, it's been, honestly, a very good time. That's the kind of action I'm looking for from a tank. There you go. We'll do troop transport versus supply truck, see which one is marginally yes, less useless in a fight. Well, that answers that! Oh, oh, me, oh my! I have definitely closed the gap a little bit more here. Uh, well, do what you can. <laughs> He's a hero. He's a war hero. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> he just, he refuses to go down, man. All right, lay it on me. Oh man, <laughs> now they're gonna shell me with a full regiment of artillery. Well, the war hero is no more. He did his best, but expectedly died. Oh, rip my anti-air. Ah, very poor performance against weaponry that, that was designed to counter it. <laughs> How sad. <laughs> and yet completely expected. So basically, if we don't completely fail this, it'll come down to the wire. You. What's your power level now? It does, in fact, repair the aircraft when they go to an airfield. Okay, can confirm. Great info. Go ahead and uh, see if you can lay a little bit of hellfire down on this field cannon. Not as much as I would have hoped. Not even remotely as much as I would have hoped. Ugh. You disgust me. That's alright, we'll just We'll take him out with our own field cannon, which I believe is still untouched. Really? Nobody can get it together here. <laughs> I don't feel good about this. Let's slip him back around to take on the notably weaker supply truck. That was a good decision. See? Tactical brilliance here. <laughs> the anti-air is just kind of out here floundering by himself, so you know what? We'll just tell him to hold his ground. Okay. At least we evened up that fight, if nothing else, here. Yeah, I'm so sad that time is going to run out here before we can uh, do anything more with it. This has been a fun episode. A uh, surprisingly competently put together game.
Like, I was like, ooh, a turn-based strategy game on the NES? How jank is that gonna be? But no, it's, uh, it's actually just about everything that I would have expected. You know, given the technology level, it, uh, it delivers. Desert Commander is a solid, solid game. And that's, that's time right there as well. We, we can't play anymore, that's 60 minutes. Hold on, before I do that, I'm just gonna hit select. Six to five, like I said. If I were to see that through to completion, th this would come down to the wire. For sure. No, good game though. Good game. Uh, does remind me a lot of Advance Wars, or I guess Famicom Wars. It would be more so if you were uh, <laughs> comparing it to its contemporaries. Ah, ah. A little, you know, more rusty around the edges and all that, but it's an old game, you know? Cut it some slack. Accept what it does. Don't uh, dwell on what it could have done, I like to say. No. Very pleased with it, though. It'll get a rock solid spot in the rankings here. Let's see. Let me just look up the next game quick to make sure that it's one I can actually play because I'm not sure if this is a light gun game or not. <laughs> it is not. Okay, perfect. The next game that we have on the NES is Guerrilla War. Not as in the ape gorilla, but rather, you know, a guerrilla warfare. You get it. You get what I'm saying. If you don't, well, you can read the title of the video when it comes out. Uh, but that's our next game on the NES. Until then, Desert Commander was a surprisingly wonderful little uh, deviation from the norm, and I appreciate that hugely. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, and you have not watched my videos before, drop a little subscription. It would help me out a lot, uh, just knowing that there are people who enjoy watching this content here. Other than that, though... Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.